people often say, well, I can't believe, I, I was trying to take a shot at that squirrel in a tree or a pigeon or whatever, and I missed. Well, very often the reason you miss is because you've clipped a twig. And people say, oh yeah, but you know, I use a heavy pellet and a 2-2. Couldn't possibly def be deflected by a little twig. Well, I'm going to prove to you that any pellet of any calibre, even at high power, will always be deflected by any kind of twig. Now, that's your normal cocktail stick. It's that strong. Tiny little thing. Would you even see that in a tree? Maybe not. But if your pellet touches that, I promise you, it will not land where you were looking. So the little test rig I've built to show you exactly what happens is a block of clear Lexan that's got toothpicks lined up in it. The gaps between them are narrower than a 177, so you can't get a fly straight through, and clearly two twos are gonna hit more of them. So I'm gonna try and shoot directly at the bullseye. There will be contact with the sticks, and we'll see where the pellets land. So as you can see, that one, it only barely clipped the side of the cocktail stick. I mean, it didn't really even do much damage, but look how far that's pushed that away from being on target. So this is only something like 10 inches behind the target. Imagine you were shooting at 30 yards to say a squirrel, and you clip something at 15 yards, the pellet will just deflect and go off. It could be 10 feet away by the time it gets to where your squirrel is. So if you wonder why you missed, it's because you hit something on the way. And one of the useful things that somebody taught me was when you're shooting in very heavily wooded areas is to use lower magnification because at high mag you don't see these things. When you drop the mag down, you're more likely to see the twig that's in your way and be able to move a little bit left, a little bit right to compensate for that and you'll stand a much better chance. And it just goes to prove how completely unpredictable it is. That last shot cut the stick clean off and went exactly where it was pointing. The others had barely touched the twigs and a, an inch, inch and a quarter away from where I was looking. And that's only over a short span. If that was over a longer distance, it would have missed by a mile. So don't shoot twigs, kids. We've even shot pellets through them with high power gun. This is a 32 foot pound 2.2. And even these are deflected, and you may think that's a lot more weight of pellet, a lot more energy. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Anything that gets knocked out of its stable flights will be deflected. This gun at 25 yards will put every single pellet through the same hole, no problem at all. But after clipping one stick, look at that, there must be three quarters of an inch out. That's 32 foot pound, the 16 grain pellet. That's a lot of energy for an air gun one tiny cocktail stick knocked that completely off course.